today I shall discuss about horizontal load of pile foundation. In this connection, I would like to think here that the earlier concept of horizontal load of pile foundation was based on one third of the pile length and we assume that the moment horizontal load is acting in this direction and pile top we shift it to opposite direction and here it is torsionally developed we are not concerning about the torsion here but how to calculate in earlier days this 50% area will be affected under horizontal load this side of the load is coming and only this portion has giving some resistance what is this resistance <coughs> the resistance was calculated considering 50% of this surface area up to one third this surface area and the surface resistance 50% of the pile up to this affected length up will be horizontal load. Here you see Q is safe surface resistance. 0.5 <coughs> we are considering 50% area will be uh, under reaction and L one third L L is the pile length this is the top 50, one third and bottom two third now let us consider that these are our pile section these are our pile section. Our pile cap is this depth 89.3 with an unsupported length. Unsupported length maybe it is a very loose soil or very highly compressible soil with no adequate sharing resistance. Or in case in the river foundation, this may be maximum is covered. Depth. This is the unsupported line. And our coach says, coach says, earlier, earlier conception was depth of rigidity factor is 5D. Say diameter is 1.4 meter then our rigid depth of fixity is 5d d is 1.45 so it is 7 but after present development of the indian standard irc standard we are calculating some specific equation based on concrete strength and soil modulus of electricity and modulus of subgrade reaction first we need what is the modulus of elasticity of concrete this is reference 6.2.1 of IS456 it is 5000 FCK. FCK is the concrete strength. 28 days cube strength. This is coming this much. And moment of inertia pile section. This is pi, pi r to the 4 divided by 4. And rearranging this equation pi d by 4 divided by 64 this is this much meter to the power 4 now modulus of subgrade reaction coefficient this is soil 
it is very difficult to conduct low horizontal load test at pile this length uh, one third length pile it will be very difficult so there is some standard chart in table 3 for the very different type of soil it is given in is2911 part 1 section 2 we are considering this then therefore stiffness factor this is the standard equation this is reference Reference appendix C 2.3.1 of IS 2911 part 2, part 1, section 2. We are calculating all the and there are two types of pile free head pile and fixed head pile. Normally, our piles are fixed because it will be rigid with the pile cap and adequate beams so this is coming up to this now the depth of fixity is 6.49 say 6.5 but earlier what we did earlier depth of fixity was considered as 5d it is 7 meter and it is coming 6.5 meter it is almost almost equivalent now see therefore equivalent length l1 and zf so l1 and zf it is lc is 22.1 and total therefore total pile 1 l1 and t2 t2 is it is Given in table 5, IS2911, part 1, section 2. So it is coming 28.5, whereas our pile length is 33.8. So our pile length is safe. Now let us come how to calculate the horizontal load. I have already said that the earlier conception is 50% of safe, safe, stiff, shift resistance, safe, shift resistance of one third of pile length, only the resisting soil, not the uh, soil of unsupported length, where some loose fill in this which you consider as unsupported length, from here only, here only, this soil will be give some resistance. This soil gives some resistance since it will be resisted by 50% area only, so it is coming half. Therefore, it is coming considering all other parameters as in my earlier earlier discussion we have assumed some parameters like density, cohesion, angle of friction, with all these we have calculated and consider and group efficiency we have calculated considering 3D, it is as per Sailor and Kennedy equation. Now it is coming out, this is 37.46. Per point. What will be our lateral dis displacement, horizontal displacement? Horizontal displacement we can calculate using this equation. Using this equation, it is in IS specification. So we can calculate accordingly. This is our this is in meter, this is in millimeter. So it is less than 5 millimeter. It is 2911 part 4. For horizontal, it is 2911 part 4. The maximum permissible limit is 5 millimeter. Rearranging this equation, 
we can calculate it again for horizontal displacement of 5 mm it is coming out 39 39 ton so first it is coming 39 ton we are getting it and it is less than 37.5 earlier this equation from this equation half one third surface shaft resistance into efficiency factor it is 37.46 now it is coming this so list up to we selected this one 37.48 uh, with this another equation is there this equation is this we have directly adopting this value phi density unit weight and effective length this much r equal to this much so k equal to k is r pressure coefficient per soil reaction factor and passive art pressure. So with this we are getting calculating pi d and this is coming maximum is demand and the safe is coming this. Here we are adding half of the weight of the pile section of top portion only after the depth of fixity top portion only this is coming 30 ton which is less than 37.45 now after all the three parameters we are getting 30 ton as the base suitable. So we consider 30 ton as a safe horizontal horizontal load. Now you see here it is depth of depth of fixity that is equivalent cantilever length is 6.5 as per calculation and original concept is 5D original concept of depth of fixity is 5D 5D which is coming 7 meter and it is coming 6.5 originally which we had in earlier conception it is coming 37.45 now as per recent development it is coming 30 ton difference is very negligible so in my opinion this simple method simple method or may be adopted and for preliminary design preliminary design depth of fixity may be considered as 5d and for horizontal load may be taken as one third of total pile length plus load load of concrete of one third th one third pile is quite adequate for preliminary design. However, for detailed design, this method will help you very much. If you have any query, please contact me at jcgogoy at the site gmail.com. Please have a nice day. Thank you all.